But recently, I decided to officially become a K-pop fan once again. But instead of being a regular fan that simply likes music, I decided to go out of my way to fully establish my obsession by purchasing a bunch of merchandise. As you guys can see right here, I basically have every single AT album plus two more back there on the shelf. And I also went out of my way to create this. This is one of my most prized possessions right now. It's a collection of all of the Itzy calls that I've gotten. But today, I decided to add a bit of variety to this photo book by adding some other groups to it. This box right here consists of five different K-pop albums, four from Gen 4, one from Gen 3, and it also has a hair loss kit because I don't know if it's obvious, hopefully it isn't, but your boy here is losing quite a bit of hair. I'm also only 18, by the way, I have no clue why this is happening to me. But yeah, everything that I'm gonna be showing you guys, everything that I'm gonna be unboxing to this video is from a source called Olive Young. Olive Young is a company that mainly focuses on skin products, but they also have a good variety of K-pop merchandise for us career booths out there. Uh, this video isn't sponsored or anything, I just wanted to give them a quick shout out this is my second time ordering from them first time had a great experience and i see myself ordering more stuff from them in the future enough of the talking though let's open this bag right here oh and i also have a camera over here to show you guys a side angle of everything i'm gonna be unboxing okay so here is what is this? I'm gonna assume this is the hair loss thing. Yeah, like I remember, they package everything perfectly with bubble wrap to, you know, kind of prevent any sort of damage being caused to it in the shipping process. We have a shampoo and a treatment pack. Uh, everything is in Korean. I have no clue what it says, so I'm just gonna search up later. Now we have the K-pop albums, all packed into one. Yeah, like I previously said, four of these are from Gen 4 groups. One is from a Gen 3 group. For all of the five, I would consider, like, in my top list of my favorite groups. One, uh... Kind of a long story, but I'll talk about it when we get to it. You know, one thing I like a lot already is that there's a good bit of variety going on with the albums, different designs, different sizes, and just, you know, different packaging. Let's start off with this one right here. Inworth by Inmix. I think that's how you say it. Okay, so this is actually an E right here. I thought it was an I, but this is Inworth. Uh, Inmix's second single album. This album consists of Cool and uh, Dice, I think. Inmix has been a relatively, I wouldn't say controversial group, but there's a lot of, you know, different voices going around them. Bad one, good one. I personally like them a lot. I've liked every single song they've dropped so far, yes, including Oda O. I personally think Oda O is a great song. And you know, I wanted to show off some love by purchasing one of the albums. This design is actually really cool too. I think it's supposed to be a book, but it's kind of sideways. So yeah, let's open this bad boy. Okay, what is this? Sorry if my mic is blocking the view, but this seems like one of the scenes from one of the music videos. Don't remember what it's from, but I do remember all of the music videos being really chaotic. Like every single K-pop album, this came with a photo book that has two cards inside. That's right, guys. We're going to increase our K-pop card collection even more. Let's put the cards to the side. We're going to look at the pictures inside of the photo book. Okay, solely. So this is how I want this lowly. Uh, I'm still kind of learning all the members this is Jenny, right but this photo book is actually pretty nice because uh, throughout the pictures a lot of them are actually made by like different materials so the quality is different like the surface is different and we have like the lyric books at the end you know they kind of just fit it onto one instead of making a separate product they also have like uh the members thanking all of us and we have the cd which i am never gonna use but i will gladly keep it in this book so we got two photo cards out of the book there's another one under the book which is kind of surprising to me there's three within this album which in my opinion is a really good amount one of them is Hyawan, the leader of this group she's fucking hilarious i've seen so many clips of her from her streams before and this other one is g i think you know one of the members that i'm not too familiar with but i will get to know it now simply because of this code so let's get this card out of here and we have a postcard i think of lily yeah whatever this is supposed to be pretty nice you know it's lily one of my favorite members in this group in my opinion the top actually it's like in my opinion she is the top vocal of gen 4 you cannot deny that and then we have this holographic called of uh bay i think i can't exactly confirm it because there's like no names no autograph on the one thing but this is actually like a really really nice card right here definitely will keep that so yeah that's everything for the mx album pretty neat pretty nice uh we got three cards of it and a postcard of lowly so you know i'm definitely satisfied with what i got next i would like to unbox an album from another jyp group but unlike mx they are actually a part of the third generation. You guys should know who I'm talking about by now. If you don't, I don't know what to tell you. But I'm of course talking about Twice. Yeah, this is Twice's newest album between one and two. They actually kind of underperformed with like the award side of things. I personally thought it was a great album. Talk That Talk was a great hit song. But enough of that. Uh, it seems like there's actually two different things. Oh, okay, it's like a slot. Yeah, I thought this was like a book or something. But there's actually two different things inside of one is a book. One is another box fitting of something again another very unique book with like a pretty unique material pretty unique covering right here you know yeah, i don't know if it's in here or not but it's pretty neat all the girls are pretty good like always you know look at sana man oh my god oh and recently i heard that misamo is dropping their own single like in this year you know i'm very excited for that sana and uh momo are, like my two favorite members of this group you know talking about momo and sana they are 
looking great like always but onto this thing i have no clue what this is supposed to be uh it feels kind of empty there's not much inside of it i think actually there might be well holy shit that was a fucking lie so here we have like a regular cutout card of uh momo you know really nice right here here we have this thing i, I saw this on the list of the things that was supposed to be included inside this box like when you look into everything's red like obviously it's supposed to nonetheless pretty cool thing but man we got a lot of cards over here okay twice go often i guess so first we have you know nina top tier girl second we have chihiro another top tier girl oh momo top tier girl neon top tier girl was this i thought this was yu yu at first but i actually cannot recognize who it is to that picture let me do a bit of research quick. give me a second please you know the crazy thing is i just searched up all of the autographs there isn't like one specific one that's like the exact same like yu yu's is the most similar but she has a big t in it while this is a small t okay now this is definitely yu yu over here i remember her wearing this like, blue outfit she looks really good in it and there's also like some old pc type of thing in the back now this right here is actually really cool this is supposed to be like a crossword puzzle of different things about twice like for example it says the date of twice's first fan meeting the date of twice's first first place we also got a sticker set right here there's three different ones and then there's two posters remaining now i don't know if this is a good or bad thing but we got two of the same exact posters of sano yeah now normally this would be a pretty bad thing because getting replicas out of something like this isn't the best thing ever obviously but it's sano so i don't know well we actually got a lot of things from that album uh, you know between one and two plus that was a great album hopefully the next release the next return with sunrise moonlight the album was gonna be good is this sunlight moonrise or sunrise moonlight next we're gonna unbox the smallest album we have in this slot and it's also the cheapest one that's right ladies and gentlemen we're of course talking about the mini album version of anti-fragile by the seraphim now the seraphim is actually like one of my absolute favorite groups i've been watching a lot of the uh game shows recently a lot of behind the scenes stuff with them recently and i've just kind of fallen in love with the personality the chemistry from each other even though like they haven't even been a group for like a whole year yet but you can just tell all of these girls are great friends with each other and when it comes to the music side of things they're also great like you know the main hit of this album is anti-fragile they also have some other great songs like good parts and parodies you know no set of stones so yeah this is a mini album right here i didn't expect too much to be within it i know that it's supposed to have less than the actual album which is why you know it's smaller but you know i wanted a bit of variety within my collection i wanted something that kind of stands out from the bunch and something with this size something with this shape definitely will wait i think i got the kazuo edition of this album because every single picture of part of the photo book you know this whole you know kazuo is right there we actually got this thing right here i don't know what's supposed to be it has a qr code on it participate in the survey and get weaver's shop cash and emblems Huh? I'll check that out later, but here we have two photo cards and a postcard, I think. Postcard is a picture of Eugene, you know, top tier girl right there. Definitely not mad at that. We have a photo card of Kazuha, another top tier girl right there. Absolutely love that. And then we have a picture of two members. Everyone's favorite, Makne, Yunche, and Eugene. Oh, and we also have the CD on this, but... Like I said, who cares about the CD nowadays? Next, we have a group that isn't exactly as well known as the three that we just sold off, but they have had a few hits so far, such as uh, Wada Da. Probably just gave it away with that, but we'll of course talk about Kepler, and we have the album of Dole Blast. I, I actually forgot the name of it for a second. Now, onto a slightly more serious topic, uh, I kind of regret purchasing this album because I really like Kepler for their music, but I've been doing a bit of research on them, like the members of the group, the group as a whole, and it seems like that part's a bit iffy. Yeah, it seems like the chemistry between the group isn't the greatest. I've seen a bit of discrimination going on with the group. You know, as a fellow Asian, I definitely understand how it feels to be discriminated against, to be like, you know, judged differently because of my own race. And it's really unfortunate that sometimes we have to deal with similar treatment or sometimes even worse treatment from other Asians. That's a story that we'll get into another day. I kind of want to make a whole video talking about Kepler in the future. So yeah, I slightly regret purchasing this album because of like the group but when it comes to the music their music is really good <laughs> enough of that though let's talk about this album real quick i just pulled these two booklets outside of this case which has the album's name on the front and the side and also has their name on the back and inside of the cover what the fuck and inside of that cover we had two different things within it this is kind of similar to the twice one that we just unboxed again very nice pictures inside you know we have eugene which is uh one of the members i know from this group i actually kind of like her and you know we have xiao ting another pretty good girl right here and a chaehan those are the three girls that i've kind of you know uh searched in depth with those are three girls that i actually like a lot from this group first we have the cd on the side you know the book is very yellow that's the theme that's going on right here we have this thing of mouse right here and i don't know what's supposed to be but 
okay. This is kind of like one of those birthday like uh, gift card postcard type of thing where you open it, there's like something that stands out, some messages below it. But here we have four photo cards right here. Two of them are actually see through. One is of Tracia, one is of uh, Mashiro. You know, two pretty neat cards right there. Then we have. The same girl on both of these. What the fuck? I actually cannot recognize who this is. I, like I said, I haven't really learned every single member from uh, Kepler yet. But hey, four cards, not bad at all. And we also have the sticker set right here, which is actually like pretty neat, pretty cute. Okay, okay, Kepler, I see you guys. So that's four different albums right there, which means we have one final one remaining. Now, there's a reason why I've kept this group as the final one. That final group we're talking about right here is a group that just debuted very, very recently, but they've already taken the K-pop scene by a storm. Oh, and it also seems like my phone died, so yeah, there goes the second camera angle over there. What is going on with me today? But yeah, the final album we have right here is New Jeans by New Jeans. Now, I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but this is actually like a really, really big album right here. When I saw this online, I did not think it was going to be this big. But unfortunately, the back of this came kind of dented in. I mean, to be fair, it is kind of big, but also seems kind of fragile at the same time. Wait, what the? Wait, 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 what? Wait, what? So this thing on the back, you can actually take off. It's just a cover of it. And this is the actual box. It's actually, Cyber Cooker unboxes bad boy right here. Actually, they have a pretty cool message in the back. It says, Here comes new jeans. When not blue like other jeans, don't be a typical pillow. Don't get all washed out. There's a ton of ways to make a difference, and wearing cool new jeans is one of them. It's time to break free from the blues when they come along for a day in the life of new jeans. Interesting. I like that. And why do I feel like the girls actually drew like what's on the back cover over here? Oh, uh, I think it's supposed to take out these things from the side, which I'm trying to be like really careful if I do not want to break this thing. So it has like the song's name going on, you know, attention, high boy, cookie, hurt. Wait, what is this supposed to be this is like a new jeans a log book that's what it says on it so this is a book that shows off seven different things about the girls personally here we have uh th their different parts separated with the names within the songs whatever whatever they even have a page talk about their favorite lyrics i have no clue what this code's cookies thing is supposed to be oh that's uh mindy's favorite snack okay now this is a really cool part here's like a new jeans report that shows off uh, different facts about the different girls but here we have mindy looking like the best girl that she is there's also some pictures of all of this uh the highly addictive uh cookies oh Oh, they're showing off everyone's favorite cookies because you know they have a song called cookies and this bp i see what they're doing now oh yeah this was before honey got banged she still looks really good though you look like honey or uh uh hayden is my bias with this group by the way they have like a word puzzle thing going right here uh high boy new jeans okay interesting they even have certain sections for us to write things down i don't know if this is supposed to be like towards my bias or anything oh yeah it says two new jeans this is actually so neat what the fuck i think this is supposed to be a regular follow book but even even the follows like taken the styles, just the vibes of the girls are so different. My new jeans has been going on me so much recently with like not even not only the music but just the overall vibes of this group. One of my favorite things about them is you can just tell how much dedication like them and the people behind the scenes put into their works within the songs, music videos. And this album over here also supports that because this is so different. Here we have this. Uh, it says new jeans says the names of every single track from this EP. So I'm gonna assume this is just a little slot that they use to put the CD in. CD itself is also very different, or very uh, colorful, unique design. On it. Wait, is this a whole solo of photo cards? That is a good amount right there. What the fuck? I'm actually freaking out from opening a K-pop album. What is going on with me? So this thing here was uh, a slot for three different things. Two of them are stickers. This sticker right here resides with the thing that we just said. Here comes new jeans. Uh, one not the blue ones like others. Actually, very cool stickers too. And they also have this postcard type of thing right here. It's folding. It has all of the members on it. Different pictures of everyone. I don't think this is... Wait. Oh, these all stickers. Wait, what? And here we have this thing. This is uh, supposed to be Honey. Shout out to anyone that watched the OMG music video. Wait, 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 wait. Isn't this like the app that Minji and uh, Hype, whatever the company, whatever label they under created? Might be, might not be, but everything here is like an uh, iPhone theme. They have like the main menu screen, new jeans calling you, like messages from the girls, you having albums of different pictures of the girls, and there's even like some writing on the back of it. And then we have this pack of just all follow calls i guess it says number one new jeans date uh july 22nd which was the day they de uh, debuted i think and okay first this thing this was the first thing that i touched upon this is like an id card right here it says team new jeans has the album cover right there which is absolutely adorable by the way some information on the side here you can join the club and enjoy all it has to offer they have all five girls on it and all five girls are part of a different club that you can choose to join i guess journaling club baking club surfing club debate club random talking club now i might have to go off high with this one because random talking club sounds pretty lit. Oh yeah, we actually got we actually got a separate one for all five of the girls. This is a different material compared to the other follow calls that we got before. This is actually just straight up paper. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna add it to my book, but nonetheless, very, very neat to check out. And finally, we have a bunch of posters of the girls. There's one of all of them together. This one of Minji. 
this one of honey okay they did the, they did the same thing again we'll get one of each girl they're actually making sure we're not missing out at all like we're actually getting one of everything of every single girl in this album now new Jeans isn't exactly my favorite group or anything they're like third or fourth for me which is still like very high on the list but you know it's you will forever have that spot but man opening this album is like one of the greatest feelings ever because you just don't know what's coming next everything's like a shock everything is just so well made i also wanted to buy a omg but i wasn't able to get my hands on that unfortunately i saw them like two seconds you know this right here though new jeans great album great group great addition to my collection that is like actually the perfect way to end it off i'm so happy that i saved this for last because that was actually so cool right there but yeah everyone that is every single album that we have for today so i went to all five of them very happy with like the amount of stuff we got the different varieties that we got like this new jeans one was so cool the twice one gave us so many codes so many varieties of different things now i slightly regret not getting the like photo surf one because that one definitely would have had a lot of stuff on there too but still satisfied with what i got today but everyone that's ready for this video hope you guys enjoyed it if you did feel free to like comment maybe subscribe y'all should do have any of that you're not sure quite to know that if you like to help me if you like to help me out if you like to be nice to me you can do all the things i just mentioned again thank you to all of you for being such a great choice for k-pop merchandise and uh, also thank you for adding on to my collection which i can't even fill in my room anymore i have nowhere to put this thing i just have like all of my itchy albums on the floor over there but yeah that's something we're gonna figure out in the future and i might have to buy a whole shelf just for k-pop albums now but everyone that's about it for this video hope you guys enjoyed it hopefully you guys will have a nice night and hopefully we'll see you again because i will be back with more content in the future with all of these groups so yeah peace out